So it looks like we got a little break in the storm. We got about an inch of rain yesterday and hoping for some more in the next couple days. But uh, while it's just sprinkling, I came out looking around to see uh, what, uh, what kind of signs I saw that this really is a habitat garden. You know, habitat, um, most people think of as a huge space, but they could be small spaces too. You know, habitat is food, water, shelter, and space to raise your young. So, you know, when I look around here this morning, I see lots of uh, signs of life. Uh, but uh, the decollet snail, that's the, the predatory snail. It's an invasive species, but it's, it's throughout the garden here. But uh, they also feed on the brown snail. So you'd be hard pressed to find a brown snail in my garden. So the decollet snail is uh, an invasive species. Um, you can see here on this map, the, the range in Southern California and that's a long way from Africa, um, but they've carved out a niche here, and um, they've been really effective. It's one of the things that um, um, happens when you get an invasive species that is able to exploit, and so it's important um, that we think about, you know, let's not plant any invasive species. Let's, you know, say, oh wow, that's beautiful fountain grass. Well, if it's not native, you know, the opportunity for it to just take over. I mean, millions of dollars spent on a rondo eradication in the riverbeds and choking the wetlands and, and all. Um, so invasive species are something that you, you need to be aware of when you're planting. It's not just, oh, that's a real pretty plant, but it's like, what price will it have on the environment? Okay, enough. <laughs> be safe, be well.